What's going on guys? I'm Muffinman6789 here. Today is August 31st, Friday, which means on Destiny 2, Zer is here. But they changed some stuff about him. And one of the changes is you cannot see his indicator or his, um, what do you call it, symbol where he is at. And the second thing is that he doesn't spawn in... The, f the planet where the flashpoint is because this week Mars is the flashpoint but he is on earth in the winding cove also he is selling exotic I armor pieces that has gives you perks for forsaken so the first um, armor piece that he's selling is the knucklehead radar and he has the hidden hand for bow targeting, hidden hand for hand cannon, and the third one is the hands on, which is game bonus super energy on melee kills. Then he has the bonus perks, which is the shotgun reserves, which increases ammo drop for shotgun, and heavy ammo founder, which is increased ammo drop for heavy ammo. Then, for the weapon, he is selling the Prometheus Lens, which is the solar version of the Cold Heart. And it was really, really broken when it first dropped, if you guys were there. Then, but yeah, they nerfed it, of course, so it's alright. But now, and then, for the Warlock, he is selling the Vesper of Radius. So he has Unflinching for Bows, Fusion Rifle, and Sniper. I would, I would put it on sniper if you're using a sniper in PvP, which helps when someone's shooting at you and you're aiming down sights. Then for the bonus perks, you get scout rifle reserves and special ammo finder. Then for the titan, he is selling the ashen wake gauntlets. So he has increased reload speed on fusion rifles, hand cannons, an impact induction so in causing damage with a melee attack in, um, reduces your grenade cooldown then for the bonus perks you get the shotgun scavenger which increases shotgun drop ammo and heavy ammo finder so yeah. then of course he's selling the usual three of coins and the five swords for the nightfall to put in modifiers then it has he has the iso chrono Chrono and Gram, so this gives you an exotic that you haven't gotten, but you can only buy it once per week, and it costs 97 legendary shards. So if you know that you guys that you guys have all the exotics, don't buy it, I guess, because you're just gonna get another dupe. But if you guys don't have every exotics, let's say you haven't gotten a a certain hunter exotic armor, then switch to your hunter and buy it but if you get like i said if you guys have every single exotic it'll be a waste of 97 legendary shards and another thing i want to include is if you guys haven't done your flash points i would recommend doing them because they are dropping forsaken um items as you can see here i got the boots for my hunter and it has the bonus perks which is Scout Rifle Scavenger, increase, of course, increase ammo on Scout Rifles. And Primary Ammo Finder, which is not that useful. I would I would rather get, um, of course, Heavy Ammo Finder. Because Primary Ammo is pretty easy to come through. Or, yeah, drop. Then, of course, then I got the shotgun for, I think, on my Titan. Yep. So there's there's the shotgun, there's the am no, the ammo, there's the auto rifle, and there's the it is my SMG, and I think there's a yes, a scout rifle. They have the same theme, as you can see here, and they have the new tier masterwork weapon kind of thing, which takes a lot more masterwork cores to fully upgrade it to ten. So once you get it to tier five, you get this bonus thing right here which tracks your kills on either pve or pvp and for the perks it's random so i got threat detector which increased 
which increases the reload stability and handling when enemies are in close proximity which is pretty good if yeah in pvp if you guys are if you're getting surrounded then i get snapshot sights which is kind of useless on shotguns i guess it'd be i would rather have it on snipers to be able to like quick scope someone or aim down sights easier easier then I got appended mag which increases magazine size and extended mag which increases the magazine size even more to yet yeah, to seven but it drops the reload speed so I'd rather have been on this one. Then I got small bore and corkscrew corkscrew rifling. And yep. Yeah. So yep, that's about it. So if you guys didn't know, Zer is on the wind in the Winding Cove on Earth on the EDZ. He is not on Mars. So yeah, so hope you guys found this helpful. Leave a like rating if you guys found this helpful. And subscribe for more Destiny videos. I'll be posting a video once the the new game mode called Gambit drops, I think. Yeah, this weekend. If you guys didn't know, we're gonna get a we're gonna get to play Gambit on Saturday and Sunday for this week before the Forsaken DLC drops. And yeah, good boy.